price. I've traveled to many countries and when they ask me where I come from, when I said I'm from Nigeria, they will ask me if I know how to cook jollof rice. So, so please do share with your friends that are from other countries so they can learn how to cook this delicious food. So, I'm going to cover it at this point again. And I will be adding butter. Butter is going to give the jollof rice the final taste. You will not believe how delicious this jollof rice is going to be until you try it yourself. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I'm going to cover it. To cook for some time then I start again. No water. Do not add water to your jollof rice. Only add tomato juice or your, your meat stock or your chicken stock or your whatever stock you are using. Then you will get a perfect jollof rice. So guys, I'm going to be using this tomato for the jollof rice and this tomato spirit. With these tomatoes, um, and I will be using these onions and the bell pepper, the red onion and the yellow onion, the white onions. I will be using this onion and this bell pepper for the boiling of the turkey. I'm going to be using turkey. And I'm going to be using garlic as well. This is the garlic in here. This is the garlic. Can you see that? Um, I'm going to be using this rice. I have two different type of rice here. I have Batmantins rice and Pabwe rice. So I do mix my rice together like this. And I'm going to add salt. So the rice and I'm going to be adding hot water this is boiled hot water so I'm going to leave the rice in this hot water for like 10 to 15 minutes even 20 minutes So I'm going to blend this bell pepper, the garlic and the onion for the boiling of the turkey. So this is the turkey and I'm going to be putting this blended red pepper and onions inside. I'm going to use this to season it. And I will be putting the seasoning cube I will be putting this Maggi cube as well I will also be putting this garlic
this is it now we'll make sure the stock cube is dissolved I'm going to turn it and I will be adding salt I will not add too much salt because of the stock cubes and I will allow it to boil for like 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to cover it So I'm going to remove the turkey from the oil. I'll do this. I'm going to use the same oil to cook the stew. Because I want to have this turkey flavor in the stew. So I'm going to put the onions in the oil. I'm not going to take away from the oil. The oil is much, but I'm going to use it this way. So after cooking the tomato stew, I will remove the oil from the top. So I'm cooking this. So the love right needs a lot of onions so while the onions is frying I will go back to the rice this is the stock the stock from the turkey and I'm going to be putting the rice I've already washed the rice Look at the rice. I wash it after 20 minutes. So I'm putting it in the turkey stock. I'm not going to mix together. I will just leave it to cook till it is like getting dry. Then before I will stir. So I'm not going to be putting salt again because I've used salt to soak it. So I'm going to be very careful with salt. So before I add any salt, I have to taste to see 
if it is okay to put more salt. So I'm going to leave it this way. And I'm going to stir the onions. I will leave the onions to like get golden brown. At this point, I will be adding the curry powder. So I'm going to add this much or a little bit more. And I will be adding this garlic here too. The aroma is coming out already. So I'm going to chop the garlic. This is the garlic. So the onions is almost like dirty brown and I'm going to get the tomato juice, I'm going to add the tomatoes juice, the tomatoes peel replaced. to cover it to cook for some time and I'm going to check on the rice okay it's still not dry yet so I'm going to so when I want to stir my jollof rice I stir from the bottom from the bottom of the pot I don't stir everything together Till it get dry when it's dry when there is no more water then I stir everything together okay so I'm going to cover it um, so I will be adding the tomatoes the blended tomato when this is dry
so the tomato spirit is already dried you can see the oil on top and I'm going to be adding this tomato in my last video I showed you how to remove the tomatoes juice from the tomato look at the juice I removed from the tomato to enable this stew to cook very fast and get dried and not staying so long in cooking so you can see the advantage of extracting juice from tomato you can see that so the oil is flowing already so it's not going to take long before it is ready and it will still be very fresh so i'm going to cover it to allow it to cook for some time for like 10 minutes or 8 to 10 minutes so i'm going to cover it then i'm going to check on the rice so I can hear the sign of dryness in the rice. Can you also hear that? So I'm going to turn now. So when I turn. I will also leave it for like another two minutes. So I'm going to be using this tomato juice for the boiling of the jollof rice. You can always use this juice as like stock. It's also like stock, like tomato stock. So I'm going to put it here because I try not to use water in my cooking. So you can as where well use tomato stock in place of chicken stock or your meat stock. So you, I always try to use meat stock for my cooking or tomato stock or vegetable stock. I do remove stock from vegetable too, some of the vegetable. So like your green leaves you can always remove the stock for your cooking so i'm going to check on the steel as well so the steel is doing very well you can see how beautiful and fresh it is so i'm going to leave that so this time I'm going to put it on a low heat. So I'm going back to the rice. So I can hear the soundness of dryness. So I will be putting this tomatoes juice or tomato stock. Then I'm going to like spread it this way. This is from the turkey. I don't remove it. It also gives the rice flavor. So I'm going to cover it. So I'm going to be extracting the oil from the steel. So the oil is not much. Look at the oil. And I will use this oil to cook 
something less next time like beans or pasta so I'm going to keep this aside if you can do much of this from your tomato stew maybe you can put a lot of oil in your tomato stew and after cooking you remove it if you have a lot of it you can as well be using it to cook and it will give the, your food a very delicious taste and a very nice flavor so and um, for you to get good result of stew you have to use a lot of oil and I'm going to be adding the tomato sauce to the rice I'm going to add a little of it and I'm going to stir together it is dry now there is no water or stuff so I only miss when it is dry I'm going to cover again to let it cook for another two minutes without any liquid. And I'm going to be slicing this onion, so I'm going to put onions at this point. Midwife, the tomato sauce is still cooking on a very low heat. This last onion is going to give it another flavor. So look at this. And I'm going to stir again. If you like what I'm doing here, please do like this video. Subscribe to see my other videos too. And you can as well leave comments at the comment section below share this with your friends a lot of people want to know how to cook jollof rice especially those that are not from nigeria jollof rice is a very popular food in the world anywhere you go to they do ask they do talk about jollof rice i've traveled to many countries and when they ask me where I come from, when I said I'm from Nigeria, they will ask me if I know how to cook jollof rice. So, so please do share with your friends that are from other countries. So they can learn how to cook this delicious food. So, I'm going to cover it at this point again. 
and I will be adding butter butter is going to give the jollof rice the final taste you will not believe how delicious this jollof rice is going to be until you try it yourself it's unbelievable unbelievable so I'm going to cover it to cook for some time then I start again no water do not add water to your jollof rice only add tomato juice or your your meat stock or your chicken stock or your whatever stock you are using then you will get a perfect jollof rice 